So uh, today is the day we add a little fancy into this kitchen. We have Carrera Marble Subway Tile from Riyadh Tile. They sponsored us and supplied us with all this tile and we're super thankful. We're gonna drop their link below in case you're interested. And also, we use them for our bathroom. So we'll drop that video link so you guys can catch that. Today, we're going to be installing our kitchen cabinets we painted earlier in the week, countertops and tile. Cross your fingers, this all works out. It's gonna be great. All right, you just keep working, Dad. I'll stay here by the fan. So this back wall is actually mostly level. We have about an eighth inch drop from that end of the wall to this end, maybe quarter inch by the time we get all the way over. But we're measuring, we're gonna put some blocking in between here because we're not doing sheeting or anything on the back of this wall. Man, that's pretty darn close right there. Yeah. Well, when I put the eggs on the counter, at least I know they'll roll this way into the sink. Yeah. <laughs> okay, the cabinets are on and they are pretty close to level. We've got to get the countertop on. We'll also be putting the backer board on so that we can start tiling. You might hear Harrington in the background with a saw. He's cutting out the windows out of the second story, out of the sheathing, and we are getting going here. We've got one piece of board up, and Jamie, what kind of grout are you using there? So this is tile adhesive type one. It's professional. I don't know what that means, but I'm just gonna put the grout on here, and then you get it on. I grouted like, I don't know, 15 years ago, so basically I'm professional, and you just, <laughs> Basically, some, I'm a professional. You just push it on there, and you want to put it on there, but you don't push, right? Well, push it a little so it gets some yeah, adhesion. Yeah, it, it's got some adhesion. And then this is like the little tile thingy. Goes right the spacer. There. I would put the next one in and then drop the spacer down. So, we'll put this one in. We left the plastic on the butcher block because we're using it as a gauge for where we want the tile to be, but we're going to be moving that out when we're well, done. The oven goes there. Yeah, we got to put the oven here. I'm going to put my little tile spacer here. Another one there. Don't worry about the sweat dripping. Okay. And then another one there. This is not like those HGTV shows where somebody comes in behind you and does the work. Like this is all Jamie right now. And you want your spacers to be tight. All right, well you mush them together.
So among other things, Harrington has been cutting out all of the windows because we just sheathed it and we didn't take the windows out. So he's been cutting those out. Yeah, make sure no one's down there, huh? <laughs> Raising these trusses today, these two big ones together weigh 485 pounds. This is how we're getting these up. I've got a couple of boat hoists that are able to carry 600 pounds each, and we're gonna be carrying these big trusses. These are the biggest ones we've got. Everything else is a little bit smaller and thinner built. These carry a lot of the weight for the hip roof that covers this big back half of the building. The first truss is up and standing. It still needs leveled. We've got to start doing a bunch of bracing, but it's up there and we can start putting the rest up together because that is the middle support there and the hip roof on the back end of the house because the front end has a big gable and the back end is a hip roof. So we, this is what supports that hip in the middle. We were just feeling pretty good about ourselves and we're really cruising along with this tile project and we discovered a couple of these are in backwards. It's because I told him we needed more lighting over here and he's like, oh, it's fine. We've, I'm like, obviously there's poor task lighting. Yeah, we've also discovered we need lots more light over here, which we are doing a light up there. That's what that's for. But we might have to do like a bank of lights. Yeah, this is... Uh, now I gotta go through with a fine tooth comb and make sure every single one of these tiles is the right direction. So you'll notice we found the right spacers finally. We had these earlier and they're working, but we had to use them all over the place to get the spacing right. And then these little uh, half ones, these half moon ones, work to go in there. So we went back because we ran out, but now we got the right ones. We thought we got rapid set tile adhesive, but what we really have here is long open time tile adhesive. So We'll have to grout this tomorrow. We were gonna hustle and do this and just use the same ones and spacers and all that. And here we are gonna have to do it tomorrow. And it's taken a long time anyway. <laughs> yeah, that was not gonna be grouted tonight. Well, it's Carrera marble. We can't just slap it up there. We gotta, we gotta at least pretend like we are trying. I'm trying. decided to build our own hood which I know is a shocker to you the style that it went to with is actually really square it has like a shelf a couple of corbels on each side um, and Zeb is just marking where it's going to be so we only tile up to that line and stop that way he can attach the hood directly to the backer board and the wall and not have to go through tile 
Well, and I think it's going to be a waste of tile too, because it's just going to get covered up with this huge hood that goes all the way to the ceiling. So we're going to mark it out and then we'll get to tiling again. And maybe in the next video, you'll get to watch us build a hood and finish the cabinet face because we are not getting to the sink today. No, the sink isn't getting finished out today. We're not even getting to grout today. It's looking good though, you know? for not being professional tile setters or whatever they're called. We're not even semi-professional. <laughs> <laughs> for, for adequate DIYers, we'll say that. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if it's because I'm tired or if that's just really funny. <laughs> we need, like, what we do need do? that on our shirt. We're what adequate at DIY. What do you do for a living? Um, I'm adequate at stuff. <laughs> I'm adequate at a lot of things. Master of none. And I probably should measure this out, but I'm just gonna go off of the bubble and we'll be real close. Whatever doesn't get tiled will get covered with trim for the vent. So we're calling it here for the night. It's almost midnight and obviously we're not gonna finish this today. Zeb's pretty tired. I'm almost there. We're starting to make mistakes. So it's always a good time to call it quits. We will follow this video up next week when we finish the tiling and the grouting and maybe a few other things. Make sure you guys hit up JamieRayVintage.com for the paint and products that we use for all our DIYs and JamieRayVintageHome.com for home decor and clothing. Be sure to give us a thumbs up and subscribe to Jamie Ray Vintage for more DIY. Good night, guys.